What's your number one responsibility as a bartender? To keep people safe. This guy is promoting an unsafe environment. One thing that infuriates me more than anything is an irresponsible drunk owner who encourages his employees to be drunk, drive home drunk, encourages his customers to be over intoxicated. He tells his employees, over poor bitch. I've seen enough. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Is that? Ooh. What? What the? A raccoon. Oh my God. Raccoon. Yes. Oh. Uh, Wildlife in the bar. You might as well just have rats crawling across the table. You know that thing is everywhere. Oh, All right, look. Raccoon. That is so unsanitary. Guys, I can't. I can't look at this anymore. I'm done. Unbelievable. Raccoon. Oh, so welcome. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that girl was literally blowing her beer bottle. <laughs> what are we looking at? Maria! Have you guys not helped yet? No. No? Aren't you famous? Hmm? Are you famous? She looks like, um, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, that's too shot. What does she look like? She well, looks she's like, like um, <laughs> she looks okay, she's like, like Eva, Eva, no. She looks like Eva <laughs> Mendez and Eva Longoria had a <laughs> baby. And then JLo came in the mix no, and put her in her that spot. one girl? This is insane. This is a free show. All right, let's do a shot. You're doing a ass nice shot. Lay down this way. We're doing a what? What's it? I guess you're doing an ass shot. <laughs> I mean, this is not funny. <laughs> no. It's funny. You know what? Let's right. I come back and I come on, shut up. What's happening right now? Shut up. You're doing an ass shot. Ass shot. Ass shot. This is crossing the line. I can't watch this. Yes, what are you doing? I wouldn't do the ass shot, but they bought you the it's ass clean. shot. Honey, go right ahead. What, how do you do the ass shot? Oh my god. god. No, I didn't say it. Really, do it. Says John Tucker. Oh my god. I'll leave a bottle for a big guy, but I won't do that. Okay, our friend has arrived. All right, I'm out. Take it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <f> <laughs> 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 do you want to drink less? We do not. There's Jolene. She's a bartender. What kind of wine do you have? I have no wine. No wine. No, no wine. No, no drink less. These guys aren't catering to their market. They're beneath it. They need some high-end, sophisticated wines and spirits to capture their market. I can make margaritas right now. You want a Cosmo? Margarita is perfect. Now, margarita is the most popular drink in America. Right. If a bartender can make anything. You better be able to make a margarita. <laughs> First of all, you never shake it with the glass up. The glass can go flying and hurt somebody. We're going to push it up against her body. She doesn't know how to separate it. Oh! So the glass that's been sitting on the bar, her hand went on it, she shook it with it, and now she's using it as a strainer. You actually can see people's facial muscles tighten from the sourness. Look, there it is. Oh. It's two brothers that own this bar. They've owned it for 11 years. There's Steve. You can tell who Steve is. He's wearing a black shirt. There's his brother, Eric, who's in a blue shirt. Put it out. They do well for a few years. Now, they're losing thousands of dollars a month. They're in debt 700,000, and it gets worse. Can I help you to your table? No, you can just give me this. They're letting everybody destroy their lives. They're doing nothing about saving themselves. There's Stu, a third brother. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> well, I think of my mind, sorry. Look at this. There's a customer who just walked into the kitchen. That order ravioli. Ravioli, yeah. 
Look how comfortable he was walking in. You know he's walked through those doors. Of course he has. Not the first time. Oh, wait, I had a ravioli. Where's the ravioli? This guy is a doormat. He's being walked all over. These guys are the biggest wimps in the world. Hey, Eric. Eric. We have a huge do not enter sign. Do what not enter. Joke. Well, they got a pizza oven. Yeah, you know how many bars try to cook pizza without a pizza oven? That's an asset in a bar business. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. Low cost, high profit. There's a tank. That's Pablo. He's putting the sauce cheese? over the cheese. Have you ever seen the cheese go on before the sauce? No. The sauce is going to burn, well, and the cheese won't brown. This guy is ass backwards. Is that exposed countertop? That's the rusted freezer. That's the top of a residential top load freezer. You know how that gets like that? Somebody either sitting on it or sleeping on it. That doesn't happen. What the hell is <sighs> that? There's icicles. Is that insulation? Was, what is that? Oh my God. Where do you think all that insulation is in the food? And that's not wrapped up. Oh. Fiberglass is made from glass that's pulled into thin fibers. If it gets into food, it could kill somebody. It's incredibly dangerous. Fiberglass should be nowhere near food. Look at this freaking guy. Unbelievable. He's grabbing his own chicken fingers or mozzarella sticks, whatever it is, and throwing it in the fryer. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my order first, please. Poor guy. What happens if they burn themselves? They get sued for a couple million. Come on, seriously. He's working. I'm almost done. What are you making? Why don't you let him make it? I like making it myself. They don't care. It's a free for all. New York burgers. Don't get them nowhere else. Uh, no more meat. All the they customers took meat. all the beef. Yeah. The other people ate everything, so it's no more. That's it. No more hamburgers. And this is not just today. This is all the time. And when I try to say son, they don't like it. They, f they think I'm the stupid. You know, it's unbelievable to me that these people walking in and out of this kitchen and cooking this food. If they can walk in the kitchen, why can't you? Probably could. Why don't you go in there and make us a pizza? You guys hungry? Yeah, go make us up. Can you believe what we're watching? <laughs> so he just walked right in. Look at this. Nobody says a word. Not a word. Hey, como esta? How are you, senor? Good. We could all be in there cooking. Yeah. What's your name? Pablo. Pablo? Yes. Let's make a pizza, Pablo. <sighs> Cheese goes on top of the sauce. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Why, why you guys bother me today? Why you everybody freaking? Just give me a loan. Let me work. Let me do my job, please. Amazing. Never seen anything like it. OK, muchas gracias, all right? I'll see you later. Now, the only thing I would ever eat from this kitchen is a pizza, because it was brought up to 500 degrees, mm -hmm. and the fact is it's the only safe thing the whole damn place. 10 minutes before you grew up? Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I'll take a little pizza. See you later. Just walked right out with a pizza. No one said a word. Took the pan, too. <laughs> hey, did you guys order a pizza? I made you a beautiful pizza. It's a bar rescue first. It's the first time I have ever been able to send a chef into another restaurant, walk into their kitchen, cook us a meal, and bring it out. And bring it out. Why don't we have a slice of pizza, everybody? Come on. You know, the basic dough is OK. And the oven works like a charm. The oven was nice and hot. And he actually cleaned it out for me, Pablo. You know how many bars we'd kill for That's... that oven? Yeah, I would. So we have never had owners get walked on like this. Clientele's killing the business, and they're disrespectful. Every year, the nicer customers left. Yep. So now you're fostering the clientele that doesn't want to spend high-end money. They don't really care about your establishment, and that's all you have left. I feel bad. I'm a bad husband right now. Hmm. Can you guys just try to behave a little bit? Body shot time? Now the money's on the bar. Let's get busy. Let's have a good time. There's Christine. So Christine is a bartender and a cousin. If this is what you have to do in a bar to make money, then you have a lousy bar. It's offensive to other women and people that come there. I think a guy should do a body shot. This place is a free-for-all.
the bar. Get off the bar. Dad, dad, dad. Dad, dad, dad. Don't get mad at them. It was my fault. I said, why do girls always have to do the body shot? Don't do it. Our lady six okay, in the next Don't get mad at them. You can see the father's frustration. Oh, yeah. He wants to fix things and make it better. The kids aren't doing it. It's like weeding on the water, but they won't drink. Christy, look at me. Christy, go home. If I have to say it again, you get the hell out of here. There it is, in the middle of the bar. She's just doing the shot, but he could have pulled her aside. So Mike just sat there and watched that whole thing go down. He didn't even step up and do anything. Diane, get her out of here. Guys, I gotta get in there before this family kills each other. I'm tired of this. I'm done. This is out of control. I'm done. Pops. Oh, what the? I'm John Taffer. I've been watching this for the past hour. What the hell is going on in here? Yeah, you know, John, you got me. I don't want our bartenders get on the bar taking off your shirt. You don't do that. You're exactly right. And I was just embarrassed by my kids in there because I told them to get Christine out of there. And they didn't. And they didn't. These aren't waitresses, they're strippers. Right. Look at this. This is insane, man. What kind of an idiot runs this film? The guy's opening a nightclub. Right. He's part of a community here. And this is what he's doing. Look at this, dollar bills in her ass. This is a freaking strip what club. The f and strip clubs can make money, but they don't even know how to use the pole, though. That's the interesting thing. They're not even good at it. They're terrible. Yellow shots, yellow shots. Just giving around free booze to everybody? Do something to take in some freaking money. They're giving away shots to people that already have a free bottle. And they're doing this before anybody's spending any money. And that's the most mind-blowing thing to me. Phil, this guy is going to close next week because he's out of money. We can't help him if he's going to do this. Really? I need to go that way. I mean, hey! The girls are all fighting with each other right now. Hey, calm down. I don't know. Look at Vin and Vanessa. That's the owner. Texting. Looks like they've given up on this place. At least Sam is trying to get these girls under control. This place is freaking horrible. It's so irresponsible. Oh my run. god. It's so disrespectful to the employees. She's a shot girl. Let's go behind the bar. Let's go behind the bar. Look at this. Even Samantha is upset because all the servers are giving away booze on the floor, dancing. She can't even make a living. Look at this jerk. Fit. He has no control over his staff. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Right, this is ridiculous, man. But look at this. This is stupid. There's 21 bars on this street, Phil. All the other ones have customers. This ass giving it away, and even for free, nobody comes here. He's got girls on a stripper pole and giving away bottles of liquor, and they still don't come. Uh. That's how much he's burned this marketplace. Can you get off the bar for me, please? Like, we're not. Get off of the bar we're now. Joking. Get off now. Drunk. She needs to go home. Just send her home. I, I tried to send her home like five times. She's not listening. Woo! Please sit her down. Do not get on the bar again. I don't understand what I'm doing, bro. They're just chasing people away. I'm trying to hype up the crowd to get everybody to do that. The party's hey, over. Buddy, He's not solving anything. No. no. I'll leave it. All right. You can leave Whatever. Bye. Hi, Queen. What we're going to do is figure this out. No, what we're going to do is listen. We're going to figure it out. We're going to get her out of here. Now. This is absurd. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.